bike I'm using is a Camasan, it's a B170 size 14 thread. I'm just going to use a uni thread in yellow. Now take the thread halfway down and break away the base piece. Now make sure you wax your thread at this point and then bring the thread halfway back up. That should give you the position for the wing. Now what I've got here, these are CDC puffs. In this case this is a yellow one. And the other colour I like is a CDC and it's called Salmon Egg. Now I mix these, basically two of each, two feathers of each. I put the fine yellow or the yellow in the centre and the salmon pink on the outsides. I feel it's just, it's the right type of colour. It's quite hard. When you see, look at the natural, I mean it is bright. But it's got depth, and if you mix colour, or two types of colour, then you, you can't go, I feel, too far wrong. I think it's always better. Now there's, the, what I've got is the two yellow CDC puffs in the centre. Then I've got the salmon pink and outsides, on either side. And all I then do is bring the tips together. And you'll see, once it's pulled together, You've got a bit more depth and colour, which I feel is much better. Now you're looking for a wing length at least. The length of the shank to the length of the hook. Whatever you prefer. Obviously I'm going to tie this forward. Forward the eye. Set it on. Nice and tight. Just a wee quick look at the length. Just about right. Now I'm Thread turns are at the back, coming in with the scissors and cut cut the the waist away at an angle towards the back of the hook. And then nice tight turns and touching. Work your way down the shank of the hook. And you'll see because of the tapered cut you've got a tapered body. That's what you're looking for. Stop it just about a turn or so short with the thread being in line with the barb of the hook. Now the tail, the tail fibres can be either hackle fibres or in this case micro fibbits. Now I'm looking for two, two for either side. They are quite fine so you need good eyesight to see them. And I'm struggling because I haven't got my glasses on so take my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. I'm not sure if you can see there, but basically if you look up the top end here, the, the threads get much, it's much darker. It's because of these, the salmon pink CDC, that's shining through the, the actual thread. And as the tapered fibre comes out, it gets much more yellow. So it's actually more like the natural colour. Some would call it like a sulphur done. Now as I say, you've got two, or you've got four fibres. Looking again for the full length of the hook, that into your finger and thumb. Now my first turn is always onto a bare hook. Then I bring the thread underneath the microfibits, holding the tips, then letting them go once the thread's under there, and then just pull it up and then separate two either side. And then to hold them apart, what you do is just do a figure eight through them, bring the thread through the near side, and then lock it down then through the far side and lock it down. At this point you can position them on the point or the areas where you want. And you should end up with something like that. Nicely spread out. Hold the weight of the fly at the back. And then trim out the full length of the body. Now for the rib, I'm using the bleached and dyed peacock. Just catch it full length of body again. Now what I've got here, this is a mink dubbing by Davy Watton and you see it's a pale yellow it's a nice dubbing to use I cut the corner off the packet and then just bring out what I need sometimes opening these sealed bags takes you most of the day so if you cut a wee corner off it's much easier to find the dubbing and then lightly dub it onto your thread and work, it way, work your way up now I usually leave 
maybe like a mil, like half a mil or so. I just the base thread, and then work my way up because you're forming a taper, and the thread the thread is part of the taper. So up to like full length of the body, and you leave a thorax a, a length. Take away the excess. And then you can rub your fly up through. Now, peacock is not the strongest fibre in the world. But if you turn them and you look at the side that's touching the hook, I can quickly run some super glue onto that, so that edge. And then quite close turns or rip. Work your way up to that point there. Cross your thread. Now you can do this with the nymph as well. This makes a great nymph body. Trim away the excess. Now the thorax colour, much like I've mixed the colours, this is a, basically the equivalent to the the, the, the salmon pinky colour. In this, this case it's amber. And it's of the same range, it's a Davy Watton mink. Again, just pull some from the corner. And drop more, sorry. Now the dubbing, you don't necessarily have to use that dubbing, you can use whatever dubbing you like that floats your flies. Dub it onto your thread, slide it up. Now what I'm going to do here is like, straight turns a dubbing at the back. Now I want to get the CDC and I want to spread the CDC. I want to fan it out so it's either side. If you draw back these fibres, even if some go below, don't worry about it. Just put your fingers at the top, pressing it down. You want it to spread, spread out, and then bring the thread turns and the dubbing to the front. At this point here, just make sure that they're actually going to spread out. And if you look, the fan right across, and then just build up the front of the thorax. Now what I would recommend you doing as well is to tie a very fine version of the same fly because sometimes they really do need a, a really a dressing that's instead of having four, have two CDC puffs and so on just reduce the weight of the fly A wee quick look, no, that's fine and then make sure I wax the thread at this point make sure it's going to stick One, two, three, four, five, there's plenty because the wax is as good as sometimes a varnish. Trim away your thread. And any fibre that may go forward, just take them away. 